honor that you get to compete in Michigan for the Nationals. We worked real hard, so we've been working for a long time for this, and it's good to finally be here. We have students from each state in the United States, uh, and of course their families have come along with them, everybody's excited, but they're going to compete today and try to repair these cars that have been equally bugged on the field. Yeah, there's some pressure, but I'm not too worried about it. It feels good to be the best of the best. Ladies and gentlemen, start your engine if you can. Being one of the top 100 in the country, maybe the best in the country. <laughs> this is a whole lot. There's actually $7 million worth of scholarships within the Ford AAA contest. So we have a tremendous amount of sponsors uh, to support these folks, and it just, it's all about providing opportunities. It's cool to encourage other girls. You know, we can do it too. All you gotta do is work hard. It's not only uh, experience and knowing the car and everything, but it's discipline and putting all the hours into it. You have to really sacrifice to do it. So. It's just an accomplishment that we've worked so hard for for over a year, easy. We get nervous. We lose yeah. sleep. Yeah, we, we tried to sleep last night and happen. I'm really interested in cars. I've been around them all my life, so it's something I want to do. We've known each other since freshman year and been wanting to do these competitions since then. I'm wanting to get into the high performance field of automotive, so I definitely will be doing this stuff. I feel great. Uh, we got a perfect car, and that's the best you can do. And we're the one of the first to finish, too. Second place from Eastern Technical High School in Maryland, Zachary Brandt, Corey Zeminski, and Mr. Eldred Watts, second place winners. I'm feeling it right now. I'm shaking. First place from Grafton High School in Wisconsin, Paul Brady, Chris Cheek. And Mr. Carl Hayden! It's just kind of a milestone to cap up in a high school experience, I guess. There's really no way to explain it. It's just, you're always going to remember this, you're always going to look back at it. It's just amazing. Words can't explain it. Really.